It's interesting how little we know about this vegetable. Today I'm going to show you how easily you can incorporate this little known vegetable into your everyday diet. I want to show you what's my favorite way to use it. We'll start by shredding daikon. Now I'm going to add some chopped scallions. I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt, black pepper, granulated garlic, olive oil, and combination of two different vinegars, apple cider vinegar and balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to top it all with fresh fruit. Okay, with onions done, just going to combine them together. And now I'm ready for salt. I need a good pinch of salt, some granulated garlic and some black pepper. Now this is all for taste and as you see this salad doesn't have exact recipe so you feel free to um, add more salt or more garlic or more pepper all depending on your taste. Okay I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. There's probably about three or four tablespoons of apple cider and some balsamic vinegar. And then I'm gonna mix it all well. As you see I'm mixing this before I add olive oil. Just mix it well. And now we can add some olive oil. Again, this is for your taste. I'm just giving you the basics of this salad. And uh, the good idea is to allow salad to sit a little bit, maybe 10 to 15 minutes before it's served, so that all the, all the flavors can be absorbed by the vegetables. And now that our salad is done and ready to be served, it can be a great addition to any protein. Like what I have here is chicken or an artichoke sausages. Go. And what I'm going to do now is just add some of this fruit. You can use um, cranberries, you can use uh, raisins, or any fruit. I just happen to have some of the pomegranate, so I'm just going to use a handful of pomegranate, set it on the top of my salad, and I'm good to go. This is going to make one yummy lunch. So I hope I helped you solve the mystery regarding this vegetable, and the next time when you see this vegetable in the store, you will know what to do with it.